We'll start with some red dot exercises. See it right there? It'll be your guide. Sit up straight about 2 feet away from the screen. If you have a lazy eye, cover it with your hand. To get the best results, do all these exercises for 2 minutes twice a day. Follow the red dot in a tornado-like motion. Your eye should move in a clockwise direction. Now you'll do the same thing, but follow the dot counterclockwise. Keep following it, imagining that you're drawing a spiral with your eyes. Concentrate on the red dot as it goes from the bottom left of the screen all the way up to the top right and then back. Let's do a couple more slanted lines. Nice job! This time, you're drawing a smooth, curved line with your eyes. Start at the bottom of the screen and move your eyes in a slow, tidal motion. Congrats! <laughs> you're doing the wave! This next one's pretty easy. Just make a circle with your eyes, like you're following the hands of a clock. Now, let's reverse it. You're still moving around the clock, but this clock is going backwards. Whoa, you're turning back time. <laughs> ok, moving on. This exercise will beef up the flexibility of your eye muscles. Trace the movement of the red dot with your eyes to create an infinity sign. Ok, let's make some more intricate shapes. Start at the top left corner and create a slanted line going to the bottom right. Then move up to the top right. From there, go over to the bottom left as you draw one more slanted line. And finally, back to the top left where you began. And that's why it's called the butterfly. Starting at the top left again, move your eyes to the right, then down and left, back to the right, and repeat. Your eyes should imitate a zigzag pattern. Now your attention should be concentrated not only on the pattern the red dot makes, but also on the way it gets bigger and smaller along the way. Follow the traveler dot from the top left of the screen to the top right, creating a straight line. Then repeat the movement, but start in the middle of the screen. End the exercise by drawing a straight line from the left bottom. This one's fun. Imagine your gaze is tracing a rainbow. And let's draw the second half of the circle. Hey, it looks like a smile! Now imagine you're watching a ball bouncing on the floor. Trace that pattern with the dot. Try to do this exercise as quickly as you can. You can also bounce from left to right. Just make sure your neck doesn't move. You are getting very sleepy. <laughs> Just kidding. Remember doing the tornado exercise? Well, this one is similar since you'll move your eyes in a spiral motion again. But the starting point will be the top middle of the screen, and the spiral shape will take you to the center point. Relax your shoulders, straighten up your neck, and look ahead. Look to your left, and then slowly roll your eyes up towards the ceiling. Keep rolling them to the right and from there to the floor. Do it clockwise five times, and then the other direction another five times. Repeat three of these cycles. To achieve even better results, close your eyes as you're rolling them. This helps lubricate your eyes and eases the strain on the muscle. Flexing isn't only for strengthening your body muscles and showing off. You can also use it to make eye muscles stronger. And here's how you do it. Sit on a comfortable chair and look straight ahead. Then move your eyes up without changing the position of your neck. After that, move your eyes down. Do 10 reps for this one. Once you've done that, look to the left as far as you can without moving your neck. Keep it straight. Then look to the right as far as you can and repeat 10 times. Do this whole eye flexing cycle 4 times. Sit in a comfortable position and close your eyes while taking a deep breath. Place an index finger on each eyelid and apply very light pressure for 10 seconds. Let go for 2 seconds and then press gently again. That'll be one rep and you'll do 10 of them. As you can guess, it's important to be very careful while performing this exercise. You can hurt your eyes if you press too hard. Constantly staring at the computer or a mobile screen can make you forget to blink as often as you should. That's why your eyes get red, sore, and irritated. But I'm not gonna just tell you to remember to blink. There's a special way to do it to relieve tired eyes. Find a blank wall to eliminate any possible distractions and sit in front of it. Keep your neck straight and your shoulders low. Close your eyes and wait for 30 seconds before opening them. Do that 10 times. And if anyone asks why you're sitting and blinking in front of a blank wall, just tell them you're exercising. You wouldn't be lying. Find a comfortable position sitting, standing, or lying down and look straight ahead. 
Without moving your head or neck, look to the left as much as you can. Keep your eyes in that position for three seconds. Now look in front of you for a second. Move your eyes to the right as far as you can and hold them there for three seconds. Repeat this whole set 10 times. Rub your hands together and you'll look like you're scheming some evil plot. <laughs> Darkness is believed to help strengthen the photoreceptor cells in your eyes, which in turn can contribute to clear vision. All you need to do is just close your eyes and sit back. Most important is to relax your eyelids completely. Think about something that you like to do, your future vacation, or other pleasant things. And stay with your eyes closed for at least 30 seconds. This exercise improves all aspects of your visual perception. It is suitable for both nearsightedness and farsightedness. You should move your gaze in different directions. First, look right to left for five seconds. Now, look up and then down for another five seconds. After that, turn your eyes in circular motion. Do it for 10 to 15 seconds. Then, draw a figure eight with your eyes. Take your time, no rush. This exercise helps to relax your eye muscles and increases blood circulation in your eyes. Close your eyes tight for three to five seconds. Now, Open them. Do it again. And again. And one more time. Totally, you should do this seven times. This exercise improves the flow of intracooler fluid. Slightly push against your temples with your fingers and maintain this pressure for around two seconds. You should repeat the exercise four to five times. Let's do it together. One, two, three, Four. Supplement your eye gymnastics with a diet rich in foods good for eye health. Carrots, kale, spinach, liver, Swiss chard, zucchini, Brussels sprouts, sweet potatoes, and butter are rich in lutein's and vitamin A. Omega-3 fatty acids, vitamin C, D, and E, zinc, and carotenoids also work miracles for your vision. If you don't want to take them in pill form and the foods we mentioned sound too plain, spice it all up. There are plenty of recipes online. And before you say they're boring and not yummy at all, here's just one example. Salmon cakes are extremely rich in omega-3s. You're going to need three teaspoons extra virgin olive oil, one small onion, one celery stalk, two tablespoons of chopped fresh parsley, 15 ounces drained canned salmon, boneless and skinless, or one and a half cups cooked salmon, and one large egg. Here's what you need to do. Chop the onion and parsley. Dice the celery and lightly beat the egg in preparation for culinary magic. Heat the oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Put some cooking spray on your baking sheet. Pour one and a half teaspoons of oil into a large non-stick skillet to heat over medium-high heat. Add the onion, celery, and parsley and cook it for about three minutes while stirring constantly. Remove the skillet from the heat. Put the salmon into a medium bowl. Mix in the egg and add the onion sauce, breadcrumbs, and some pepper. Mix everything well and split into eight patties. Put the remaining oil in a pan and cook the patties for two to three minutes so that the undersides turn golden. Then put them on the baking sheet and place in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes. Serve the deliciousness with sauce, dill sauce for example, and lemon wedges. 
Carrots and gooseberry juice are packed with vitamin A and important antioxidants. Put them together and you get a remedy that helps to relax eye muscle stress and improve eyesight. It even works for people with eye-related disorders. One glass every morning on an empty stomach will work its magic. Take it for two to three months with no gaps and you'll see visible results not only for your eyes but for your overall health. If making fresh juice every day sounds like too much work for you, try making a powder that you can add to some milk before bed. You're going to need 60 almonds, 16 tablespoons of fennel seeds, and 12 tablespoons of crystal sugar. Grind the ingredients into a fine powder. Keep it in a glass or plastic jar away from sunlight. Two tablespoons of the powder mixed with warm cow's milk before bed will do good not only to your eyesight but your brain and overall health. Make it your final drink of the day because you can't take anything for one to two hours after drinking it. Try a two or three month course for starters and then take a break. Green tea. It's rich in antioxidants called flavonoids, which fight off free radicals that can cause a number of eye diseases, like glaucoma, macular degeneration, and cataracts. More than that, green tea is a kind of natural sunscreen for your eyes. Its polyphenols protect your eyes from UV rays, which can cause cataracts and other eye diseases. You might love basking in sunshine, but your eyes certainly do not. Get your hands on some dried green tea leaves. One teaspoon makes about one cup. So if you want to make enough tea to fill five cups, take five teaspoons of leaves. Green tea pearls will also do the trick. When boiling water to make green tea, it's important to keep it warm enough, but not too hot. So the ideal temperature is 185 degrees Fahrenheit. As Goldilocks would say, it's just right. Once the water has reached the perfect temperature, pour it into a cup with green tea leaves on the bottom and let it sit for three minutes. Remember, you can always use a tea ball if you don't like tea leaves floating in your cup. Drink it warm or keep it cold in the fridge. The choice is all yours. Bilberry. These photogenic little berries are known as great natural eyesight boosters. They improve nighttime vision and help regenerate important parts of the retina, which can be damaged because of high blood pressure and diabetes. And again, they are great when it comes to preventing common eye diseases like glaucoma and cataracts. You can eat bilberries straight up as part of your daily fruit serving. Try putting them in your yogurt. Mmm, half a cup a day will be enough. Or you can choose to take them in supplement form. The recommended amount is 80 milligrams twice a day, a few times a week. Almonds We all love the tantalizing smell of fresh roasted almonds and almond scented lotions. Turns out almonds have more than just a heart melting aroma. Raw almonds are a natural source of omega-3 fatty acid, vitamin E and antioxidants, all of which are great at improving vision. If you use almonds to benefit your eyesight, your memory and concentration will also reap the rewards. What you have to do is soak 5 to 10 nuts overnight. When you wake up in the morning, peel and grind them. Enjoy them with a cup of warm milk for the good of your eyes and for your own bliss. They're safe to take every day for several months in a row. Ah, contact lenses. Without them, all you see is a bunch of blurry figures and shapes. You can't go without them, so you'd gladly never take your contacts out. I know they're a real lifesaver, but there are places and situations where you better go contact-free. Such as… In the shower, hot tub, and swimming pool. What do these places all have in common? Right, water. And water is full of bacteria. Even seemingly clear ocean, lake, or river water is swimming in microorganisms that are really dangerous for your eyes. In fact, bacteria find it easier to stick to your contacts than they do directly to your eyeballs. Once they grab on, they start to multiply and grow stronger. The possible result? A nasty infection called amoebic keratitis. In simple terms, it's a bad inflammation of the cornea that results from bacterial infection. The disease starts with pain in the eyes and blurred vision. If you do nothing about it, it can even lead to blindness. This is what happened to a 41-year-old UK woman. When her eye doctor asked her about it, she admitted that she often showered in her contacts and didn't take them out when she went for a swim. 
As a result, after just two months of living with infection and pain, the vision in her left eye dropped to 2200. That's considered legally blind. Although the condition is quite rare and affects only 1 out of 250,000 people, it's still not a risk worth taking. Treatment is long and difficult. When antibiotics don't work, it could mean a corneal transplant would be in order. But even after transplantation, the eyesight rarely goes back to normal. For that UK woman, it only helped her to get 2080 vision. That's still not good because it means what she can see clearly at 20 feet, a person with good eyesight can see at 80 feet. If there's no way for you to avoid showering with your contacts in, at least try to keep your eyes closed as much as you can. This way, you'll minimize contact between your eyes and the water. Before taking a dive, remember that you also have a second reason to take those contacts out. Chlorine in the water can seriously damage them. Again, if for some reason you can't leave your lenses in the changing room, put on some tight-fitting goggles. And if you do get water on your contact lenses, at least remember to clean them thoroughly afterward. Contact lens solution is a great disinfectant when used wisely. If you use the same portion of it over and over again and just top it off with a few new drops every now and then, you're not using it the way it was intended. So it doesn't do its job as well. It completely stops being sterile, and as bacteria starts to thrive in this environment, it can cause you some less than pleasant eye infections. So only use fresh solution for overnight contact storage. First, it needs air drying. Bacteria enjoy moisture, so one sure way to prevent their feast is to deprive them of that. Leaving the case to air out during the day will help. Second, don't forget to clean it with a gentle soap and water every week. And again, let it air dry thoroughly when you're done. Don't use a towel or toilet paper. They can leave behind tiny fibers that can find their way onto your lens and onto your eye. You're putting on eye makeup and a tiny bit of it accidentally gets onto your contact. In case that happens, immediately wash your hands. Then take out the lens and disinfect it before putting it back in. The best you can do is put your makeup on first, then your contacts. Sunscreen doesn't belong on your contacts either, so if it gets there by accident, run a disinfection immediately. Your eyes don't start itching and get red for no reason. If they feel dry, you have an infection or are having an allergic reaction. So remove your contacts immediately to prevent more damage. Wait and see if things get better after you've taken them out. If it's not a more serious problem, your eyes might have just been rejecting your lenses because you didn't disinfect them properly. If you rub your eyes with contacts in, you have an increased risk of developing keratokinus. That's a condition when your cornea changes shape and goes from round to cone-like. If nothing is done about it, it can eventually give you blurred vision. Instead of rubbing your eyes, treat them with some anti-itch drops to calm them. Your contacts don't like water, and they don't prefer the heat either. If you just take them out for the night, don't leave the case where the sun will shine directly on it the next morning. Never leave the case in your car either, it can get incredibly hot there. For the same reason, avoid taking it to the beach too. The hotter the case gets, the drier its contents will become.